welcome back to another episode of Leopold Says, Conquers, or Takes on the World. And as I was thinking last time, last episode, last time I talked the entire time and basically did not do anything. So that means I'm going to have to release both these episodes in a pinch so that, you know, you guys still are very interested in everything. And, yeah. So, basically what happened was is I improved some of my fort levels on this side. At least all the ones I could. Wait, what? Okay, it seems like for some reason my forts are not where I want them to be. I don't know why that is. I did. I seriously thought I did all this. What was I? What was I doing? Okay, and yeah, yeah, little place right here. All right, and yeah, we're just back here doing a lot of like just relaxing stuff, and I'm just gonna put it on too so that this time we actually do go forward in time, and so not many people are like, oh, you didn't do anything, cause. Um, yeah, I'm kind of sorry for that. <laughs> Last episode. Okay, and this is Spain's definitely... Spain's definitely becoming under our sphere again, and we advocate for free trade. What does they possible believe in? Does no one believe in free trade nowadays? Seriously. Why does no one believe in free trade? It's like the greatest thing in the world. Okay. So I have to really look at my empire as I've seen there have been... There are many problems in my empire right now. One is the fact that everyone has moved away from being conservatives and have basically said, Hey, let's be the communist because we can be communist. And completely my culture, I would like to point this out, completely my culture does not advocate, does not advocate for any of this. I've always argued for the fact we don't want any of that. And for some reason, it's starting to bite me into my back. So I don't know. And oh, one thing I do have to do, Ladies and names and allow adapt. One thing I do have to do is let me first move my my only army that I have in the entire okay. So you guys may need some refilling of the cannons. You guys combine. Okay, this is a decent sized army. Hmm. Okay. I'm just thinking everyone, just thinking. Um, the rock shell, um, yeah, you guys, I, I really wish I could disband a lot of you guys, in fact, over here, you guys go over there, because this is all for, like, really advanced troops, because I am building an entire, yep, I'm finally, now since we're at the end, kind of the end game, kind of ships, and this is, like, the most advanced ever, this is where I'm definitely going to start building up. Oh, shoot, that's also a port. Okay, we'll extend this right here. Oh, shoot, I did not realize that. Sorry. Extend that right there, and that can only build frigates and regales. And I can't upgrade it, sadly. That's with the new system. Um, can you guys? No, you guys can't. Um, you guys can build what I want you to build, but you guys won't. So build some mortars. Yeah, what I'm basically doing now is accumulating a gigantic ship fleet. And for some reason, it's actually saying I don't have enough. I want to say that will exceed the supply limit of... Okay, so the total throughout of our near plow is 600. And all other ships requires in total 270. So, it will take... A, they'll, they'll definitely drain me, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm expanding my mill... My, uh... Shipbuilding capacities so that we can start, like, fighting in the future a little bit harsher. And, um... I do have to expand my military now that we are... Now that we're kind of in a peaceful age, okay, you guys, um, we will help you. Okay, you guys, go right here, seriously. Um, this is the rest of my army, I don't want you guys to just die out there. Um, and we do have to extend our military, but I'm kind of hesitant to do that because we are seriously so close of, like, getting, um, um, we're so close of getting tanks. And basically what tanks do is that they make every other unit in this game obsolete. I mean, you can have Royal Guards and you can have other things in the Navy. But it basically becomes, why would I need to? That's basically what this becomes. And it's like, uh So, you know, I'm wondering if I actually should, like, still keep building up stuff. Or should I just, like, you know, just stop right here and wait for my... Uh, seriously, we have to take a conservative agenda. Because apparently the reactionaries are beating me in my own... No, we're not, we're not pacifism. 
Uh, I've said that many times. We are not a pacific country. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if I should. And, you know, because these armies, like I said, in about... Let's see. When will this finish? In September. Wow. That's really actually really close. In September, uh, probably by the end later of June, these armies will all become obsolete. And, you know, horsemen and... Okay, the socialists have again won power, as I've known they would. So... Now we do exactly what the, what we did to the uh, liberals when they took power. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, I love doing this every single time. And what do we want to give them? We could give them 80 syphilis regulations. Regulations. Uh, more healthcare would not be bad. More population would not be bad, actually. Because, you know, population is just great. And are you guys actually... Man, I would have hoped that these guys would have, like, exceeded in wealth by now. The beauty. Uh, Wattenberg. Changes by 30. Hmm. Nah, give me this besiege. Um, and, oh, by the way, everyone, we officially passed the UK in great, in, uh, in a, uh, industrial power. Even though it's by only three, we passed them, surpassed them, and that's just really great for us. So, um, back to what I was saying, though, is, is that do I really want to, um, you know, keep these kind of units around? Because definitely cannons will become obsolete. Um, the only units, like I said, the only units that will matter in the future, brilliant, um, the only units that will matter in the future is airplane and basically these two. Because airplane is, um, the attack unit. It's based, airplane is the all-out attack unit, um, and then tank is the all-out defense unit. And, you know, soon I'll be depleted because, I mean, look at this. These guys can, actually, you know what, I should probably... Now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably keep a good, um, industri- I will keep all my, uh, honor guards, but it definitely does not say I should keep any of my, uh, I'm definitely not thinking I'll keep any of my, uh, tanks or anything like that, and I should probably put up one more, because it's all that, all that kind of good stuff, so, um, yeah, I, that's what I think I'll do, is, you know, once- you know, once they come out with, uh, tanks, once I can officially start building tanks and make it- Oh, they shoot! Oh, they shoot! What did you do, Poland? What the heck did you do? What- What are these Prushka Nash- Are you kidding me? Prushka doesn't even exist anymore! Why are you guys- Oh my goodness, okay. Should I- Okay, army, gonna go send in there. Let's go destroy these guys. I have gas attacks, so- um, doesn't, do I still have an alliance with you guys? A military access? Give military, yeah, I still have military access with you guys. So I should be able to move through. There we go, okay. Seems like the AI system is a little bit stupid, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out. And, let me make two tank experiments. What do I need? The country is at war. Um, has synchronized support. The two below has tank exploits. Alright, I'm just seeing what I need. Uh, combustion engine. Do I have that? I have combustion engine. Make sure that's the only thing Thomas Steele. Did I have invented that, really? Oh, wait, is there anything that I might need in this? Stainless steel might be good. Um, Polyan system vacuum tube integrated. No. Not really much over there. Mass politics. Uh, mass politics would actually be really good so I can stop some of my rebel problems. Um, expressionism, bolt action rifles, really good. Um, heavy armament, tankette. A tankette? Also discovery of a tankette. What's a tankette? What? Okay, is that why I need to like do tank experiments? Maybe that is. Well, Anyways, let's tank down. So maybe actually, maybe I do have a little bit longer with our infantry. So maybe I will just start making new army. So first things first. So I'll keep this on because it's actually not increasing that much. First things first, I need to see which armies are hurting or need some uh, resupply of the men. Manpower. Okay, so you guys are pretty well balanced. Yes, we will attend because we're nice people that way. Um, Brazil. Dang it. Ah. Dang it! So, so both Argentina and Brazil have had revolutions in the past, and 
They have become a bourgeois dictatorship. Thank you for choosing our name, by the way. Um, and... Oh, dang. We're gonna have to fight them even harder now to gain back in our sphere. And we're gonna have to fight a lot of nations much harder to gain back. And, officially, Austria has collapsed and the Italians have taken over as a great power in the world. Congratulations! Woo! My Italian brethren, you guys... You guys are the bomb. I mean, you guys have always been there for us. And always been our friend. You guys have totally earned, like, a book in my name. Or, like, a book that will always be there. Okay. But that army will need, like, everything. For this army, we need some horsemen to, like, help balance it out. So, um, let's go to here. Let's go to build army. Um, intervene immediately. Um, there we go. Uh, Africa, we can build so many horsemen. Wow. I'm just looking for things in Europe. Europe, we could build a lot of things in Dublin. Don't really want to, so one, two, three, four. We need about four there. Four there to compensate for that unit. Um for here. I feel like this unit should just go combine with somebody else, because it's just it's just way too tiny. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go combine it with that unit over there. You know, keep it even, keep it fresh and everything, but this unit's way too tiny. Okay. Now you guys have moved over here. Now move over there. Okay, go right there then. Okay, is Prussia not... Do we not have military access with these guys? Military access. Ah, uh, military access. Okay, good news. The Prussians have given us military access. I would hope they wouldn't. Okay, now go over here and go start crushing armies. Okay, yeah, the gas attacks just give me such an advantage. It's not even funny. Okay, now will they go hunt down everything? And is Poland's cap... No. They have control of Poland's capital, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm just going to go on a big conquesting spree and eventually make it back to uh, make it back to Brunzel for that big gigantic battle we're going to have. And man, you know, Poland has honestly been just a pain. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, thank goodness. For a moment there, I thought my thing, my game was about to crash. Okay, um, that actually has scared me a little bit. So I'm gonna do lazy names and learn how to adapt. Um, I mean, I'm running at this at really slow speed, but yeah, it's really having difficulties. Um, that, I guess that's what happens when you have like a big gigantic army that's, you know, doing its best. And yeah, my multiplier is definitely increasing now. I'm definitely like beefing up my ship production, and yeah, just beefing it up, just beefing my ship production, because now since we're at the late end of the game. All I care about is, oh, you guys are actually soldiers. Well, who needed soldiers? I forgot. Um, hmm. I don't know, but also we have over here. Oh, the big gigantic battle happened without me even noticing. Well, yep. Okay, we basically now cleaned up all of Poland's army or Poland's uh habit, and we have the Russians. Yep. The Russians have officially left the sphere, so if I really wanted to, I can make Austria my complete puppet. And oh my goodness, no way, no way! <laughs> Russia caught me! <laughs> no way! No way! No way! No way! That's gotta be. That's just. <laughs> wow! Oh my. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I have never seen that happen in all my life. Russia has come. <laughs> okay. I gotta sell myself down because I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That, that, that just brings a tear to my eye. That just brings a tear to my eye. Okay, we have... Let's get back to our ship making. Okay, so we have um, seven dreadnoughts being made here. We have six dreadnoughts being made there. Um, Italy, Italy should be able to crush them. Um, the Nobel Peace Prize in chemistry, a great honor that is. <laughs> now that we're like number one and everything. Okay, over here. Oh, I forgot to say, I also building some forts over here because I have a feeling this is going to be a very high tensive region if we ever declare war on the UK again. And so we're going to need that under our control and. Over here, I'm just gonna keep some po some of my own men over there in Poland constantly because there seems to be a lot of places where we honestly go to war, go 
go to war for Poland's independence a lot. So, yeah. And <laughs> Russia. Russia becoming communist. Oh, that makes me feel so, so like this is, this is like repeating times. And grievous insults, Egypt, uh, relationships, Egypt, gain a cut down, whatever. I don't really care, honestly. Egypt's not really a big concern of mine. Ever since, once I built the Suez Canal, they became like numeral, I don't care about them anymore. Okay, and, um, commend the book or, eh. Eh, uh, whatever, we can lose some prestige. We actually, now since we have gained all those men, we can actually lose prestige now. Because we're actually a big, gigantic power. And you guys, move this way so that we make sure we have control of our capital. Because it seems like rebels are starting to rise everywhere. And communism is especially trying to take root in a lot of different places. And I can now build tanks. Okay, it's official, I can now build tanks. So, you know what that means? All factories that cannot produce themselves are, are now out of the loop. Which means my actual income... Yeah, I was about to say my actual income should actually skyrocket. Which means I'll even lower my taxes. Oh my goodness, I'll be able to do 20% taxes. 20% taxes. I have not been able to do 20% taxes in any of my games. That's for, that's for all across the board. I've never been able to do 20% taxes on everything. This is like... I mean, this is like the best I've ever been able to get it. And as... You know, I'm going to slowly but surely laugh at Russia. Okay, Finnish nationalists over there, but Estonian nationalists, um, Russian communists. For the most part, it seems like um, the world is just rapidly changing against Russia, and Russia is just um, becoming everyone's... Yeah. Okay, what do I need right now? Because I'm not really looking for what is nice. I'm trying to look for... Bomb guns, quick firing guns, nah, not really needed, but I could do this one, okay, yeah, because I'm, I, I'm guaranteeing, I think the communists will eventually win, because, well, for one, they don't, the Russians have no army right now, and Eastern Garcia is right here, and trouble is brewing, so let's see, what's happening right now, we have the Germans, who are backing a, uh, um, Eastern Garcia, actually, to be honest with you, I think Eastern Garcia belongs to, uh, Poland, so I'm actually not going to back this one. So, regular closed factory just collapsed. That's good, because I need to make sure that, I actually do need to make sure some factories collapse so that tank factories can start, their beliefs must be respected, so that tank factories can start taking hold. All electrical factories in my Indian territory. Ah, uh, and Ghana! Ah, what is with Ghana? Seriously, what is with Ghana that makes everyone so happy to be there? It's like, yeah, I'm in Ghana. Okay, let me, actually, I'm going to take a good look at my economy and just check out everything and make sure that everything's, uh, okay. So now we have a big decision. Do we not do it? Um, do we join Ukraine's fund? Do we not? Um... France declares we are interested in this crisis, alright, and instantly, let's see, who's gonna, I have to just see who's gonna support the most, so, everyone has negative towards Germany, um, they have, they're gonna join Germany, France is gonna join Germany, it's just how it's gonna be, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing against my friend, intervene immediately, but, yeah, it's just, um, Eastern Garcia should not be a part of the... Yes, Romania and Brazil. I mean, Spain. So, is Spain finally back in our sphere? Yes, we finally got Spain back into our sphere of influence. Which means I can now start concentrating on all the places that are now free of independence movements. Um, still debating if I want these guys, because they're not quite the best. Definitely want Serbia. Definitely want the Serbs under my control. Okay. But, yeah, I'm just going to support these guys. And another factory, canned food factory, collapsed. And the French communists have finally shown themselves in my country. I don't believe I'm going to have much trouble. Yeah, less than less, less than that. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much just going to steamroll these guys. Okay, so right there. I mean, wow. So, apparently, like, 
I'm thinking back to this, but the biggest rebellion I ever had was the Ultra Liberals, and they nearly came close to liberating my entire thing. And French Red Guard, okay. That means I'm just gonna have to go send an army down there to go deal with this, so. I'm gonna go send these guys of a good amount of men. Go right there. Um, you guys go right there, go combine. You guys go over here to this other port so that I don't confuse you. Yeah, you guys need battleships, you need awesome battleships, and is anyone else in any of my places? I don't think so, because it usually doesn't spawn. Okay, there's a couple places over here, but my army should be able to take care of that. No army over there, no army over there, okay. So mostly it's all dealt with, and now I can start my Bazils. Bazil is starting to come back under my sphere, because I definitely want Bazil underneath my sphere, because they are one of my friends. And I still could not locate this canned food factory that... That's apparently in my sphere, but, ah, uh, where is it? No. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It was right in Provence. I could not, could not see it. Could not see where Provence was. Okay, and, uh, tension in Walney. Of course not. Maybe we should talk about this. Of course not. <laughs> no. Um, you ain't getting this back, Poland. I'm, holy oh, shoot. Okay, so... By the First Amendment, or by the first days of my empire, um, the Polish, not the Polish, but the Irish are already trying to break away from my empire. Huh. Give it to those Irish. I never would have thought they would have become this organized already. Huh. And it also doesn't shock me that they became part of the uh, liberal front. So what I'm going to do is quickly go stomp them out and then go back to going in my usual syndicalistic view and, of course... That's what I thought. And did that actually break our alliance with the United States? No, it did not. That's good. <laughs> so, Lit Toms, let's see the Lit Toms. Crisis set in motion. The army goes to war. Nothing really that important. Lit Toms, uh, the Donchnink relations. I'm still... I I give applaud to the Donchnink. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, they're definitely fighting me in Siam. And I'm not exactly, like, paying attention. Because I'm, like, trying to get all these little new states out of here. And what is this? Oh, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. Poland. Poland, you're being a... Oh, no, it's not just Poland. It's a lot of other nations. So Poland basically decided, hey, I'm going to... Uh... No, it was the Chinese Empire that wanted trans -Bacau. And... Wow. Okay, so they basically... Wow, they're just being jerks. Seriously. I mean, they know they have no defenses or anything. This is basically going to be a swipe up war. Right, I'm going to go send you guys over here. Um, man, I don't want to start building any more new men. Of course not. Tensions and less. Of course not. I'll be. Don't worry. I'll be able to de to defeat these guys eventually. Like I'll be able to get back all my land. I'm just going to. It's going to take me a little bit. And besides, a lot of these nations really do like me. They're not going to like, you know, trust the rebels or anything unless there it goes. Uh, release must be respected. Okay, um, now, now that we have all this, um, just start a massive recruiting run mint. Let's see if we can actually start making this, because this is, this is where everything done to pass. And I need to actually see if we're actually going to make these, because the thing I'm really worried about is if we have tanks. Because that's really, yeah, tanks, right there, tanks, that's the thing. That's really stopping us from, like, making things. And the Nobel Peace Prize for Physics, yes! That's always what you dream of when you become a new nation, is becoming the, the Nobel Peace Prize in Physics. Okay, you guys, go right here, go stomp out these rebels. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to have to make sure that I keep better care of my uh, Dublin front. Because, obviously, Dublin wants to be its own independent nation. Which I can understand, I mean, it's it's been ruled by different people. I mean, it had to join the UK... And it had to be conquered by different people all over the world. I mean, it's under my control now, which I'm not exactly being peaceful to it. I'm basically saying you're, you're part of my empire or you die. Um, so, you know, I understand that. So, you know, it's a good thing that they do try. They still do try to gain independence. And, you no, know, they do. They do. They do fairly well. I mean, I, I don't give them credit. They don't do, like, exceptionally well. But they do fairly well for what they do. And I'm going to combine all these guys right there. And how's my rebel hunting group down here going? They're doing pretty good. They almost crushed them all. So, yeah. 
and over here, um, it looks like, oh my goodness, this, I, 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 I feel the utmost sadness for the Russians. They obviously can't do anything because of relationship-wise. They are basically sitting ducks for the inevitable conquest of all these nations. There's nothing they can do. Like, literally, there's nothing they can do. And more factories are closing because, because I said so. That's good. So let's see, let's go up here. Close down this factory, 10 more days, that's good. So naval bombardment, I think I found, I think I now, everything in my, yeah, everything in my empire is now tier 4. So now I'm going to start working on tier 5 technology on everything. There's not really much I have to like get specifically. And oh my goodness, China, you guys are jerks. <laughs> um, uh, just plain, just flatly put, you guys are just jerks. And wow, just wow, I mean... This is, this is all just, wow, just, oh my, I don't even have anything to say, and here comes the Italian liberation of Venezuela, um, basically this is another, going to be another one-sided thing, hopefully Poland's actually going to take the initiative and actually acquire something, um, they're acquiring something from this war, I think, Germany, Chinese, yeah, because I mean, this is, this is, yeah, I guess, you guys, you guys are more terrible than I am. <laughs> Let me just say that now, okay, and I'll add these guys to my sphere. So now, now Persia is officially in my sphere, and I finally, I think I finally stabilized my rebel problem. Yeah, I think I did, so with that, everyone, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You know, thank you guys for watching. Um, we're also going to watch, watch this situation quite closely and see what happens, and I'll see you guys next time.